welcome to Johnny Works. Today's video is going to be on your DIY BFF. Bell O L S M H W T F. I don't know anymore. Anyway, impact driver, drill combo kit, okay? Almost every, uh, all the major tool companies have a combo kit, okay? And it comes with both, all right? Some come with the chargers and without, you can buy them with the tool separate for replacement, you can buy separate batteries, but I would recommend looking up one. I like the DeWalt. I also like the Milwaukee. There's, there's a bunch of different kinds. Ryobi and Porter Cable and Rigid. You, you're going to have to go look and pick. But my preference right now, I've had these for about three years. This is what I like. Okay. This is my battery drill. This is my impact driver. They're both can be used for similar things, like an electric screwdriver when you put the tips in. But they both do have different functions that we're going to go over in a minute. Okay. This one came with two batteries and one charger. I think I paid in between 180 and 200 bucks. All right, so this is the impact driver, okay? This is a screw driver, okay? To drive screws. You're doing some decking, you're building a shed, you're using a lot of screws, okay? Battery goes the same way. Also has three settings, three speeds. Forward reverse. LED lights when you hit the trigger, okay? But this thing is all power, okay? Besides having a concussive impact, it's got a lot of torque. So this bad boy right here will be your best friend if you're doing a big project, like I said, like a deck. All right, here's your extreme close-up. It's like Wayne's World. All right, so this thing right here, this collet, you pull it out to put your bit in, you pull it out, take your bit out, okay? So I'll try to show you as best I can. I'm holding on to my drill, pulling it out. This thing slides in, and you let it go. There it is. All right, if I pull this thing out, I can take it out. These things right here are what hold your tips. Tips, I said tips, okay? This one right here actually has a slide, all right? So, is I take my drill bit tip, I insert it, okay, and now this thing can slide. The reason it slides is if I say I had a long screw and I wanted to put the screw in here and I wanted to start drilling, a lot of times you can fall off, okay? So what this one does, you're able to slide over the drill, over the uh, screw and hold it. So now that keeps it in place and you don't fall off. You don't you won't slip off when you're trying to screw shit in stuff. It slides right over your screw. And now if you're trying to screw this in, what won't happen is that. Okay? You can put it on there. Going down, especially over your head, it's tough. So if you can put this thing on, once you get it in, Good to go, all right? All right, so the drill, when you hit this trigger, this light comes on, okay? I can shut that off, or I can turn it super bright, okay, and blind you, all right? So that's a pretty cool feature if you're in your basement or somewhere dark, okay? This one right here is forward and reverse, okay? Forward, reverse, forward, reverse, all right? Has a keyless chuck, all right? The way I would get a drill bit in and out, if I hold on to this keyless chuck here and squeeze the trigger, if I'm going forward, or if I say I'm going reverse right now, if I go in reverse, it opens up. If I put it forward, it squeezes it. Okay, so basically it does this and this, okay? Reverse it, open it up. Put my drill bit in, watch your fingers, be careful. And it squeezes around that thing, now it's stuck. I'm gonna take this bit out and change it. Hold on to the keyless chuck with my hand. Put it on reverse. And nice and easy, hold tight. It loosens up, you can take that bit up. But the good thing about the drill, you can take regular drill bits, but you can also take the hex head that fit in the impact driver, okay? If you're using this, say, as a screwdriver, all right? Because that's a drill bit. You're drilling a hole through something. 
That's a screw tip, okay? Or a screwdriver tip. That one's a Phillips, okay? So you can use this one for both. This is the keyless chuck, okay? When you hold that, it loosens up and releases your bit. Or you put your bit in and you hold onto it so it doesn't spin as you pull the trigger. It sucks this thing in. That's your keyless chuck, okay? And it won't break your hand, you're just gonna hold tight, okay? That's how you take bits in and out of this thing, all right? These three numbers here, one, two, and three, are your uh, speed. Three being the fastest, one being the slowest. Sometimes you wanna take your time drilling into something and not just gun it and screw up or slip off and jam into your wood, okay? And then this right here is the clutch, okay? It goes one, two, three, all the way up to 11, and then it has a drill and the hammer setting, okay? The hammer setting will actually drill and pound, like the impact driver. The drill will just drill. And then these settings here, these numbers are for depth. Setting number one, okay, in my clutch. Now watch when I get to the surface of my wood. Ooh, almost. One's pretty weak, so this one didn't even make it because my screw's so long, but you see how that changes? Now if I change that up, it goes even deeper. So that's how you find your settings. You're gonna have to, a little trial and error, okay? Because I just used a long screw. It actually stopped before it got to the surface, okay? So I knew I had to crank it up a little bit. I'm actually on four, okay? But you're gonna have to play with that and figure out what your depth setting is, and that's how you figure out your surfaces, okay? Or how deep to go, I should say, to set your screw head. All right, so some of the attachments that they make, okay? They make flexible ones. Say you're a mechanic or you're working on your lawn mower or whatever and you can't get in somewhere, this thing will fit into your drill or your impact as a text head. Locks in place and now I can fit my screw tip in there, just the tip or the whole piece. And then I can turn this thing. And that bad boy still works, it still screws, okay? Doesn't hurt your hand or nothing because it only screws right here. That thing, the only part that spins, this braid right here protects you. All right, so you can put it wherever you want it and use that drill. This, by the way, my friends, is called a hole saw. If I want to drill a big hole for a pipe, 99% of the time it's for a pipe or a vent or something, they make different sizes. I'm gonna hold this one up. And it locks in, okay? It's got a little drill bit in the middle. This one's a two inch. Careful when you use these though, watch your wrist, because they tend to bite and grab, especially if they hit a nail, and there's a lot of force. So you hold this thing really tight or your wrists can get a little sore. They make tile attachments to cut holes in tile, in case you had to put some anchors in for a shower rod or something like that. You don't want to crack your tile trying to uh, drill through there or screw through it. You could drill or pre-drill a hole with this. They make grinding bits. They make hex bits for nuts, okay, or for lags that are usually hex head. Okay, that's a good tool. They make all different sizes. <clears throat> you can buy large and short tips. And then if you like, Ryobi makes a pretty good one. There's even bigger ones, Milwaukee make them, that have bunches of different screw tips. Phillips, flathead, square, star. A lot of the star ones and those the, uh, octagon ones, a lot of those are for appliances and things like that, okay? So I recommend getting a multi-pack, all right? This one has the hex hex ones, all right, for, for nuts and bolts. And it also has drill bits, okay, that fit into the screw gun, okay? Also what I have, I got one more here. I also have drill bits that also fit into my impact driver, okay? So not only can I use drill bits in my drill, but nowadays they make hex head ones too, okay? I could actually use this in my impact too if I was going through something hard. Okay, that's a great, these are great little tools right there. 